It is no surprise that PC dominates consoles in every retrospect you can possibly imagine, especially when it comes to the survival genre. However, it is not to say that you can't find anything on the console version at all. In fact, there are quite a few survival games that you can play right now on console that will give you more than your money's worth. And since the majority of my videos are based on recommended titles, I figure it would be nice of me to share with you some of the titles that I would truly stay away from had I known the outcome myself. Obviously, as you can tell in the title of this video, I will only be covering survival games on console, and just because it plays terrible on console, it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing for the PC version as well. So with that being said, let's dive in. At number one, we have Memories of Mars. Published by 505 Games, Memories of Mars sounds like everything you'll ever need from the survival game on paper, that is. However, due to its poor performance on older gen consoles and limited and not populated server options, this game will quickly remind you that it's not doing that well after all. This game was meant to be a Rust in space on console before Rust was even released on console. And as if today's date, period, the game is just nearly non-existent and if you ever see this game pop up on your recommended list, well that must be a miracle. Because even though the game has been around for quite some time now, there are still players out there that don't even know about this game and that should tell you something. The game has also been abandoned by developers for a while now, so hoping for any stability improvements or any other content, don't recommend this one at all. At number 2 we have Unturned, another title published by 505 Games ironically. Now, when it comes to Unturned, I personally had a love and hate relationship with this game, and it was mainly due to its issues on console. The game on PC is free and is being updated and cared for by Nelson, who is the main developer of Unturned. It is genuinely a good game. On the other hand, purchasing this game on console, mind you, it's $25. I just don't recommend it. You'll be lucky enough to receive a patch on console once a year, and even that is not enough for the game to run stable. The game will currently crash and glitch non-stop. When Unturned was released on console for the first time, all of the bugs and glitches existed before and the community was hopeful that all those issues would get resolved in a short amount of time. But very unfortunately, it's been nearly over three years and the game struggles so much more so now than ever before, which forced content creators to stop making content on the game, which then stopped free advertisement for the game, which then made this game come crumbling down down on a very significant level. As of making this video, I strongly recommend staying away from this game. The player base is terrible on console, and the fact that it's been three years and the game struggles to this day and there's little to no patches produced, just don't waste your money on this one. I'm turned on PC literally shits on the console version, and it is also a free version as well. At number three, we have Boundless. Boundless is one of those games that did poorly from the very beginning. The marketing was poorly executed, leading to poor player-based traction. But that's not even the core issue of Boundless. The game can be a microtransaction system if you let it to be. Developers of Boundless encourage you to spend real money in order to have more space to build on the server, or even catch up with other players. From the start, you will be given a small amount of land to build your house or business on, then you will quickly realize that it's just not enough space to create it and that's when you will be forced to pay extra money. It's not necessarily pay to win, however, it is definitely pay to catch up. And that's why I would recommend players to stay away from this game altogether. The game is also too expensive and it is not worth, in my opinion, $40 whatsoever. Especially considering it that last time they had an update was literally a little over a year ago. And I think it's a ripoff anyways with that price tag, those developers definitely need to humble up a little. At number 4 we have 7 Days to Die. Now for some of you it's probably a no brainer that I have this title on this list, but for those of you not very familiar with this game, here's just a nutshell of it. The concept of 7 Days to Die is miraculous, however unlike the PC version of 7 Days to Die, the console version went through so much shit of a roller coaster. After some terrible decision making and troubles that went within the development team, the game went off track pretty extensively, leading to becoming one of the major fails on console. The console version of 7 Days to Die performs terrible, sometimes getting as low as 24 frames per second. The game is also 
very far behind compared to the computer version. And at this point, it's just not worth picking up at all. Wait about two, three years before even considering it. And if the game remains at its current state, just move on. Trust me, I'm doing you a favor. The console version doesn't have electricity, which should probably tell you how far behind these guys really are. And this will conclude today's list. I know it's not long by any means, but nonetheless, I will comfortably say that this is my personal list of survival games on console that I just would highly recommend you staying away from and just avoid at all cost. You already know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for future content like this. This was your boy Roos, and I'm out. Goodbye.